stop. Because today, the universe offers a curious message. As you journey through existence, contemplate the interconnectedness of all things and the cosmic energies intertwining reality. In this vast cosmic tapestry, every individual holds a unique role, where unexpected events often challenge our understanding. So, buckle up for a celestial journey as we explore the mysterious and unexpected twists of the universe. This woman is surprised by what you did to her. Son, she is coming to your house for a conversation that could alter the course of your cosmic journey. It may seem like an unusual twist, but in the grand scheme of the universe, every action has a reaction, and every individual is a player in the cosmic dance. As we delve into the realms of cause and effect, let us reflect on the significance of our choices and the impact they can have on the lives of others. The cosmic web of connections extends far beyond our earthly boundaries, encompassing the stories of countless beings across galaxies. In this cosmic drama, the choices we make resonate across the universe, creating ripples that reverberate through the fabric of space and time. The woman approaching your doorstep is a messenger from the Cosmic Council, here to remind you of the interconnectedness of all beings and the responsibility we bear for our actions. As you open the door to face the consequences of your actions, consider the lessons the universe is trying to impart. Embrace the opportunity for growth and understanding, for it is through facing the unexpected challenges that we evolve and ascend to higher planes of existence. Take a moment to reflect on the choices that led to this cosmic encounter and contemplate the way in which you can contribute positively to the cosmic harmony. Embrace the cosmic lesson to claim the message. In the cosmic journey, we encounter not only challenges but also moments of profound beauty and awe. The universe whispers its secrets through the rustling leaves, the shimmering stars, and the dance of galaxies in the night sky. It invites us to appreciate the wonders that surround us and to find meaning in the intricate patterns of existence. Take a moment to connect with the cosmic energies flowing through your being and let the beauty of the universe inspire you to create a positive impact on the cosmic tapestry. I am attuned to the cosmic symphony to claim the message. As you engage with the cosmic energies, recognize the power of intention in shaping your reality. The universe responds to the vibrations of your thoughts, emotions, and actions. By aligning yourself with positive intentions and fostering a sense of cosmic responsibility, you can co-create a reality that harmonizes with the cosmic flow. Consider the impact of your choices on the cosmic balance and strive to be a force for good in the grand cosmic scheme. I am a conscious co-creator of my reality to claim the message. The woman standing at your doorstep is not just a messenger, she is a reflection of the cosmic forces seeking balance and justice in the cosmic dance of light and shadow. We are all interconnected, and our destinies are intertwined. As you engage in a conversation with her, approach it with openness and empathy. Understand that every being in the universe is on their own journey, navigating the cosmic currents in search of growth and enlightenment. I embrace empathy in the cosmic dance of life to claim the message. The cosmic encounter at your doorstep is a reminder that every moment is an opportunity for transformation and enlightenment. Embrace the lessons the universe presents, for they are the threads that weave the intricate patterns of your cosmic journey. As you navigate the cosmic currents, let go of judgments and preconceived notions, and be open to the cosmic wisdom that flows through every experience. I am a student of the cosmic mysteries to claim the message. As you declare your readiness for the cosmic dance, the woman at your doorstep smiles, acknowledging your acceptance of the cosmic lessons. She reveals herself not only as a messenger but as a guide, offering insights into the interconnected threads of fate that bind us all together. You embark on a cosmic journey of understanding, traversing the celestial pathways that lead to self-discovery and enlightenment. I welcome the guidance of cosmic wisdom to claim the message. The cosmic journey unfolds before you like a vast tapestry of infinite possibilities. Each step you take resonates through the cosmic web, influencing the trajectory of your existence and leaving an imprint on the universal consciousness. The woman, now your cosmic companion, 
shares stories of beings from distant galaxies who have faced similar challenges and emerged transformed. The Cosmic Council watches over these tales, guiding each soul towards cosmic harmony. I am a co-creator of Cosmic Destiny to claim the message. As you delve deeper into the cosmic mysteries, you realize that the woman is not just a guide but a reflection of your own cosmic potential. She represents the embodiment of resilience, compassion, and the transformative power of cosmic awareness. Together, you traverse the realms of understanding, exploring the cosmic energies that flow through every atom and connecting with the universal source of wisdom. I recognize the cosmic potential within me to claim the message. The cosmic dance leads you to the heart of the universe where the cosmic council resides. In their ethereal presence, you feel. You feel the collective energy of countless beings converging in a cosmic symphony of enlightenment. The council imparts cosmic truths that transcend time and space, revealing the interconnectedness of all souls and the purpose behind the cosmic journey. As you absorb these revelations, a profound sense of unity and purpose fills your being. The Cosmic Council, pleased with your willingness to embrace the cosmic wisdom, bestows upon you a cosmic artifact, a crystal and key that unlocks the doors to higher realms of existence. This key represents your commitment to growth, enlightenment, and the harmonious co-creation of the cosmic tapestry. The woman, now radiating cosmic light, invites you to join her in a celestial dance symbolizing the eternal connection between all beings in the vast cosmic expanse. As you twirl in the cosmic dance, the universe celebrates your newfound awareness and the harmonious energy you bring to the cosmic tapestry. The Cosmic Council showers blessings upon you, and the cosmic energies amplify your intentions, propelling you towards a higher state of consciousness. The woman, now a radiant beacon of cosmic light, assures you that the cosmic journey is an ongoing exploration and each step contributes to the ever-expanding cosmic narrative. The cosmic dance continues, and you find yourself immersed in the rhythm of the universe. With the cosmic key in hand, you unlock the mysteries of existence, co-creating a reality that aligns with the cosmic flow. As you navigate the celestial currents, Remember that the universe is a vast interconnected tapestry, and you are an essential thread in its intricate design. Embrace the cosmic lessons, share the cosmic wisdom, and let your cosmic light shine brightly across the galaxies. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, dear cosmic travelers, your journey is but a fleeting moment in the eternal dance of existence. Embrace the cosmic wisdom, carry the cosmic key with purpose, and continue to co-create a reality that resonates with the universal harmony. The Cosmic Council applauds your dedication to growth and enlightenment, and the cosmic energies guide you towards infinite possibilities. As you traverse the cosmic pathways, may your cosmic light illuminate the way for others on their journey through the cosmic dance. The Father says today, of the increase of my governance in your heart and in your life, there will be no end until you come to your blessing place in full maturity before my throne. This is a season of growing and maturing in your faith, navigating difficult people and situations coming out of timidity, and stepping into radical risk to pursue my values and my purpose for your life. As you know, I am a God of growth, increase and manifest glory in, on and around you. My divine, incorruptible seed is on the inside of you, gestating, breaking ground, and producing fruit, for I created all things to grow and multiply, and I desire the same for you. Not all those you have surrounded yourself with are conducive to spiritual growth. Love them, bless them, but make it a specific choice to hold your time valuable and your spiritual environment sacrosanct. Surround yourself with anointed leadership. Go out and find someone walking in a level of anointing, glory, and breakthrough that you don't have. Get in their life and sit at their feet. What their actions, listen to their words. Align yourself with them and invest your time, energy, and resources to gain access. For with access comes the elements of influence that will, in time, 
bring you to a total breakthrough. Don't expect it to be easy. When you are around people who are walking in the truth and living a life of obedience to God, you will be challenged and encouraged to grow in your own walk. How many hours are you willing to sacrifice? How many miles are you willing to drive? What are the things, people, and situations in your own life you are willing to sacrifice and step away from to find the secret place where my wisdom and anointing saturate you and change you from the inside out? Spend time in my word. It is full of wisdom and truth that can help you grow in your knowledge of the holy and knowledge of my ways. As you study my word, be sure to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand what you are reading and apply it to your life. Finally, you can grow in your faith by serving others. What you make happen for others, I will make happen for you. I've told you and told you and told you. And now is your moment to step into the role of service and giving that will defeat all the doubts and harassment the enemy piled on you when you were wallowing in self-pity. Give me what you have. Your gifts, talents and abilities. Be like the little boy who gave me his lunch and I fed thousands. Are you ready to participate in that dynamic? When you use your gifts and talents to serve others, you demonstrate your love for God and his people. Serving others is also a great way to grow your humility and learn more about God's love for you. As you grow and mature in your faith, I want you to also take leadership over those around you in need. Many people in the world are lost and hurting, and they need your help. Be a light to the world and share my love with everyone you meet. Pray for your friends, family, and neighbors. Ask God to bless them and help them in their time of need. As job of old, I will turn your captivity when you pray for the needs of those around you. Volunteer your time helping people in need. Allow no excuses to keep you from becoming broken bread to those in need and hurting. Give financially into the kingdom. Don't fall for the lie that says I'm short on money. I will give of my time. Doesn't my word say that the seed is in itself? If you want corn, you don't plant wheat. If you want money, you plant and sow money. Generosity is MY love language. Let generosity be your love language. And I will fill you to overflowing with all the natural resources you need and an abundance left over to sow into the initiatives of the kingdom. Remember, THE giving comes first, then the abundance. Stop waiting for your ship to come in. That is also a lie. Do now with what you have, and I will open the windows of my provision and pour out a blessing you cannot contain. Share the gospel with others. Tell them about my love in your life and how they can have a relationship with me. When you take leadership over those in need, you follow in my footsteps. I am a God who loves and cares for all people, and I want you to do the same. The Father says today, it is my purpose to build a family. It is not my purpose to build a regime of subservient followers. That is for the religious bent. I intend to build a family of sons and daughters. I intend to bring all of my children back home. I intend that they return to me. Every infant spirit being sent out from my heart to be born on the earth is a child of my loving intent. My intent is for my family and they return to me. They return to me, having chosen my offer of love and accepting my provision of the way back through the cross. There is no memory of the time before birth no recollection of my tender benediction released over you as you were sent forth, but it was there. My love was there, and my love goes on reaching throughout your lifetime, throughout the generations, calling my family to come home. When you see the lost, who do you see? Do you see the ones I have loved with everlasting love? Do you see ethnos and societies that are vastly different from you? Do you see the religious and tribal peoples outside of your sphere of culture and understanding? Do you say in your heart, 
Well, it is too bad they don't know the truth because they will spend eternity apart from their maker. But you don't really know them, so it is not like it is someone from your own family, right? Or are they part of your own family? The family you don't remember, who lived in my heart since before the foundations of time. They are all my family, and I desire them to return to me. You are all my family, and the focus of my everlasting love. It is not my will that any should perish, but that whoever believes in me will have everlasting life and return to the heart of the Father. The Father says today, a word of correction rests upon my lips. A tender word meant to guide you closer to my heart. Be correctable. Let not your pride stand in the way of my refining fire. Remember, the chastening I bring is not a sign of my displeasure, but a testament to your status as a son in my eyes. How could I neglect or abandon those who are the very apple of my eye? No, my correction is a gift, a pruning of the vine that allows it to bear even more fruit. A pruning, yes, and one day you will say, Lord, I think you prune too much. Trust me, keep on trusting me, even though your heart feels empty and your eyes are blinded by tears. I am working. I am W-O-R-K. I-N-G on your behalf. Yield to my hand, even when the process feels harsh and unbearable. For, in the end, the blessing will bloom from your surrender. Answers you have long sought will find their way to you like treasures unearthed from the fertile ground of your obedience. I know you are weak, and I know those things in your heart and life you don't want others to be aware of. They are no surprise to me. Do not fear your weaknesses, I know them intimately. Every point of vulnerability, every chink in your armor, is laid bare before me. Yet, it is in these very areas that my grace shines most brightly. Like a flood, it washes over your imperfections, cleansing and renewing, filling the gaps with my strength and love. Behold my mercy, overflowing and boundless. It will continue to envelop you, washing away the stains of the past, freeing you from the shackles of darkness that have held you captive for so long. This is the season of returning, a time to mend the fences in your heart, to bridge the gaps created by estrangement. Turn back to me, my beloved, and I will flood those spaces with my light. The warmth of my love will melt away the frost of doubt and fear, leaving behind a fertile ground where hope can blossom anew. Remember, my love is unending, a constant stream flowing towards you, regardless of your circumstances. It is the foundation upon which you stand, the anchor that holds you steady in the midst of life's storms. Let your tears flow freely, for I am here to catch them. When waves of sorrow threaten to engulf you, remember that I am your refuge, your comfort in times of despair. No matter what accusations are hurled your way, I will stand by your side, shielding you with my unearned favor and silencing the voices of doubt. This is my promise to you, children of mine. Those who mock and criticize will be silenced, their shame a stark contrast to your steadfast faith. For your trust in me is your shield and your fortress, a foundation upon which you will build a life of joy, purpose, and victory. Hear my word, beloved ones, and let it be etched upon your hearts. Be correctable, be vulnerable, and receive my love with open arms. This is the path to true joy, the road that leads you back to the Father's heart. So go forth, my children, with heads held high and hearts overflowing with my love. The world awaits the manifestation of your transformation, the fruit of your surrender. Be the light that shines brightly in the darkness, a testament to the transformative power of my love. For I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. O oh Lord, 
as I lift my voice to you in prayer. I am struck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, place a hedge of protection around us, and grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus in the midst of life's storms. Help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments, I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch, whether the ailment is physical, emotional or spiritual. I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others, as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs, and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, 
I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened, and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me in the path of righteousness. In conclusion, this message is a reminder of the boundless blessings and higher callings that await you. The universe is preparing you for greater things and your guardian angels are guiding you toward endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Are you ready to step into this new chapter of your journey? Your destiny awaits, and the Father says, Today, son and daughter, open your eyes and your heart to greater blessings and higher callings. Do not allow the mundane things of life to clip your wings or steal your joy. Trials and struggles will exhaust themselves and have an end because the energy that drives them does not come from my throne, but from the domain of darkness. You will not be held bound, for I have declared life over you and life more abundantly. Act now and sow into this word according to what you need and want God to do in your situation. If you have faith to give 10,000, you have faith to receive one million dollars. This is an important revelation, and your guardian angels have a special message for you. Someone is convinced you're their soulmate, and this person loves you. A fiery energy is creating a rare opportunity to restore a sacred bond. Destiny plays a significant role in our lives, and sometimes the most unexpected unions are the ones that bring us the greatest joy. Embrace the unexpected, for your journey is about to venture into uncharted but potentially magical realms. Your cosmic dancing shoes await, and your love story is a cosmic phenomenon that radiates strength, positivity, and the boundless potential of the human heart. In the final act, there's a lesson, a reminder that love when guided by the divine, becomes a force that transcends age, societal norms, and expectations. It's a narrative of courage, authenticity, 
and the limitless potential of two hearts intertwined. Trust in the profound love story that destiny could be scripting for you, even as we speak. With your heart wide open and your spirit attuned to the symphony of the universe, be ready to embrace the extraordinary. After all, love has a way of uniting soulmates, and who knows what magnificent love story the cosmos is currently composing for you. Your destiny awaits. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.